there's like a shadow of that weird circular star thingy majig up here over here like you can see it kind of jiggling around but I can't help but feel that it wouldn't have a shadow because it's just like it's magic does magic have a shadow? hmm that is a legit question like you know it's just like on it it's just like an aura thing so I'm not sure if that should actually have a shadow maybe it should well otherwise why would they add it in maybe they thought it necessary maybe because it's actually there it still makes a shadow it just seems a tiny bit unnecessary or a tiny bit necessary hmm very confusing I also need to do a little bit of wood cutting to get me some more of those unfinished brooches I need to chop down some more normal logs I'm not gonna be making any more arrows because they just take forever they take forever to make and they're super annoying to make I may be making some bows I'm gonna try and make a bow which sells pretty well at the Grand Ex no I'm at the general store not the Grand Exchange I do not sell things at the Grand Exchange I will not be in the Grand Exchange ever's Oh yes, I can. I can also get double loot from men, so I might go pickpocket a couple of men to make them money. Hmm. Seems like a good enough idea to me. Where's my pickpocketing level? Let's find out. Pickpocketing level. Ah, well, thieving is what I meant. Thirteen. Well, that is not good at all, is it? That is, in fact, very bad. I want. I don't even know what the best way to train it up is. Like, I think. I think that mini game down in the desert is pretty good and then when everyone gets to higher level they, uh, they hit people with those lumberjack things. I honestly, I've got no idea about thieving. I don't have a high thieving level. Uh, it's not really very appealing to me. It's, it's, it's a very boring skill. As easy it is, as it is to train uh, and even pretty good for money. It does not interest me in the slightest to train up thieving. Unless I need it for a quest, I usually don't do it. Um, but I think I do need it for a quest at the moment, I just can't be bothered. Which also reminds me, I was going to go and complete Recipe for Disaster at some point. I've been meaning to do that for like, literally like a year. But I just could never be bothered to get around to it and just sit there and do it. Like I, I haven't even started it. I haven't. What happens is when you when you finish the cook's assistant, you go and talk to him on a member's world. He asks you to get a few more slightly complicated ingredients. You hand that in, and then you get like ten mini quests. Um, and then you have to do all those. It I don't even think it takes that long. Uh, you know, if you just sit there and do it, but you have to buy all the junk at the ground exchange and. You know, do all that stuff, and I think that the Dominion Tower, after you get 500 kills, don't you get the new gloves? Uh, which are better than the Barrow's gloves. Because if you do, then I'll be going to do that. But I haven't killed enough bosses to be able to go into the Dominion Tower. Which is really upsetting. Like, you know, how can you be, how can you be so bad? You haven't even done that many quests? Um, some quests are quite fun but some quests put me off questing forever for instance the in aid of the micro series the one where you have to go into the town and uh, how do I explain this you have to jump you have to go through like the ghetto and you have to like jump over all of the little obstacles it's like a massive agility course that one took me like three or four fucking hours and I was like oh my god ah oh, not this it's so boring and I know I was following a guide which made it a bit worse like it was that hard to do with a guide ah oh. I do my best to do quests without a guide but basically I start with a guide and then I do the whole thing with the guide, so I don't actually do my best. I, in fact, do my worst. I, n I don't think I work anything out for myself because some of, some of the quests, I'm sure that they were quite easy to do if you know you took the time to do them and you you spoke to everyone and listened to what they had to say. 
I can't be dealing with that, you know? I got stuff to do, I got random skills to continuously boost the train. You know, I just... I need to do other things, like loads of people logging in and logging out. You know? They might adore in fans. Hi guys! How's it going? Oh, someone's changed their name. Clean... MSB does that? I honestly can't read it. Getting a monitor very soon. Hopefully. Uh, wow, I love mining Renaissance. It's my favourite thing to do from now on. I also need to get seven summoning to make money, but before that I need do need to get the high high out level. It's it's honestly not been that bad. Sixteen percent I honestly haven't actually done it that much for already having sixteen percent. I'd say I'd say it's training like pretty quick actually. Like actually really quick. 55 isn't actually that high and 120k XP does sound like a lot but it's really not. It's it's actually it's basically nothing. Like on my main I have to get like 800k a level for some skills, you know. And that junk, that junk is hard, right? That upsets me. That's that stuff makes me cry. I think level 91 is halfway to get into 99. Um, so if you've got 80 stats and you think that they're really high, they're not. I'm sorry. But no, it, it, it gets a lot easier to train as you level up, obviously. Don't know why I'm putting those away. I need them. Right, yeah, I'm probably going to do keep up the good work, Max. Ah, that's nice. I definitely think that they should add in more I think that they should add in AIs that just run around like players and do skills. That would be so cool. Like they should just, if you know what I mean, they should just keep doing it. Like forevers. And you know, they should they should all start like a legit level 3. And they should go to max and see how long it takes all of them. Um, see what, 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 and then you know, you should be able to follow all of their progress. Which would be which would be really sweet if you could follow their progress like online on the high scores and then see which one gets to 200 million XP on everything first because it's bound to happen after a few years one of them's going to get 200 mil on everything you know I mean if because they'd be playing 24 hours a day and they never stop because they're just bots and they'd know all the best way to do to do shit. But also, if you could join like a group with them, that would be sweet. Like you could go on a bandos run with them. That would be just awesome. But they shouldn't. I don't think they should trade or anything like that. Like they shouldn't be able to use the grand exchange because they could probably break the economy or level the economy out, which is never good. No one wants a level economy because then everyone, everyone that just makes tons of money merch and just doesn't make money anymore, which is sad. And that makes me unhappy. I don't like it when people do minimum. I like making tons of money for doing nothing. It's nice. I don't half make a lot. I make tons of air runes just for one inventory. Like seriously. 70 something for just one inventory? That is a ton. Ah oh, man. Sweet. I also I also need to go through I need to go through some lower level monsters, maybe some slayer monsters, stuff like that. Try and find some better stuff. Uh maybe actually I just remember that crawling hands drop the colored gloves, you might know what they are. They're worth a fair bit on the grand exchange. But I'm not sure what their price to a shop is. Or their high alk or anything. They could be worth a little bit more. I'm really bad at finding this altar. Uh and there's also Cave crawlers, as soon as I can kill them, they are. I might actually be able to already kill them, let's find out. Yep. Monsters. Cave bug, damn. Cave crawler is 10. Damn it. Cave bugs, though. And they're so useful because they drop so much. The level 96 ones drop green charms really commonly, but like the level 7 ones don't drop anything. Damn it, man! Whenever I whenever I talk, I'm RuneScape for ages, right? My nose will just goes like funny and junk. Sorry, man. I'm fine now. Oh, it's super. 
That's how I know that I've been recording for ages. Just my nose starts going all bunny and dear. Does that mean that I get three air runes per essence? I think it does. Well, it must do. There's no other logical explanation. It must. Teleport using the Wicked Hood. Teleport to the air rune altar. Eee. Probably should have saved that in case I needed to teleport anywhere else. And it's going. Wow, that was the fastest run ever. Which is n it's cool that you can do that a couple of times a day. Even though it, it uh, it's not actually that good if you're doing like a hundred runs. Well, actually it is if you're doing a hundred. Oh! Oh, some stuff from Fistic. Ah, oh, yeah, actually. If I go to Fistic Guthics and I get those water rune crafting gloves, or better still, the the fire ones, I could. Uh, I think it gives you double XP for like water or fire runes or whatever one you get. Ah, oh, man, that could actually be sweet for XP. Like I could train up rune crafting real speedy, like, and then I could start making nature runes, which I'm almost definitely going to have to, because 18 is just not enough. I need, I need like 250. No, no, no. I need actually about 300, just for the things that I'm going to make with summoning. And that's just out the rock crabs that I'm going to be making as soon as I get seven. Uh, as soon as I get seven summoning and thingy and 55 magic, that's all that I'm going to be making. So I kind of need it. I also need 30. 30 mining that means because I need to be able to mine pure essence. Let's check if there's anything good at levels. Return to skill guide. New. Oh, I can make body runes. Ah, oh, almost cosmic runes. That. Ah, oh, chaos runes. That could actually be quite useful if I can make chaos runes. Astral runes, eh? Lunar diplomacy. Does that mean you only need 40 magic to complete lunar diplomacy? And then 44. That's not actually that high. Then Rune Crafting Guild, Law Runes, oh my god, Death Runes, oh man, Blood Runes, but you have to do quests, and I hate quests, I honestly don't want to do quests just so I can craft those runes, but I'm probably going to have to eventually, but honestly I don't think I'm ever going to get that high with magic, like not for, not for ages, not for months, I'm not going to need Death Runes, I'll just go to Fist of Guthics if I want to train like that, you know? Uh, let's see actually, what what is the highest level magic spell that I can cast? I can't quite cast... Oh, at 59, eh? But it's 53 for Earth Blast, so when I get High Alk, I'll be able to go to Fist of Guthics. And actually, when I get 53, I can go to Fist of Guthics, and then train the last couple of levels on people just using Earth Blast, just getting a ton of XP per cast. Or actually, at 41, I could probably go there. Uh, I probably won't live very long, so I won't get too many tokens. But I'll do my best. You know, you, you kind of you get given like bandages and that, so I'll just like I'll stay there for as long as I can. It it does it does match you with someone of like completely random level though. So I I as a like level 110 because I haven't been there for ages. Um, I used to get matched with like level 30s. And obviously, I just used to just kill them in like two hits, which was a tiny bit unfair. I think it would have been better if it had matched me with people about my own level. But I was on a free world, so I think I was the I was think I was the highest level in the group of people doing Fisty Gothics at that point, which was unfortunate for everyone else. <laughs> Thinking about it, also a Rune Berserker Shield would be useful at 40 defense. Because it gives a strength bonus. And strength bonuses are good. They are A okay for everyone. Actually, yeah, they are they are like proper nice though. Like, you know, they increase your damage by what, maybe maybe three every hit. Which might not sound like a lot, but you know, when you when you're hitting a thousand times, that's an extra three thousand damage. So say if you hit a thousand times over a slayer task, then you actually you maybe do it 10% faster because you know extra 300 da extra 3000 damage you know gets you about 10 more kills so with a high strength bonus you really can pwn and is it any wonder that people in the world do they use their magical high level 
claw and strength bonus prowess to PJ people like super noobs. Oh look, you've just left combat. Let's kill you. Yay. Oh, now I get both piles of loot. Well, I get as much as I can take from one, but I get your loot, which is always good. Ah, I hate PJs. The hell? Right, someone ran a person playing a guitar. Okay. Questionable as hell. Like, he's just playing a random guitar. He's like a barbarian, man. Where do they even get these things? Who makes them instruments? No, they could. Oh, what the hell? That was never here before. Something new has been added in. Holy crap, holy crap, holy crap. I want to see what it. No, it's just a road that leads nowhere. Oh, wait, what? What else is this? What else is this? Ah, it's body. Not actually that far from a bank, is it? Edgeville one's just over there. That's quite good. But then again, the far. No, actually, body's the highest one that I can do at the moment. So yeah, next time I might do some body runes, even though they're pretty useless. Uh, they're, they're quite good for training, because you know, like, you cast, confuse, or whatever the body rune spell is. Uh, they give quite a lot of XP, those spells, but they, they cost a lot to cast. I do believe that's how it works, anyway. Uh, yeah, the three waters, two earths, one body. So yeah, they're, they're quite a pain to cast. Now they... Yeah. Well, at least they updated these bushes. Like, they used to just be little circular bull majigs. And that. That was unfortunate. Right, at the moment, I'm going to giant bats. And I'm going to pwn them with some magic. I'm going to try and find a safe spot there. Which is what I was going to do when I started this recording session. Which was probably last episode or the episode before. I don't know how long I've been recording. Um, so that's why I was grabbing cakes. If you've seen the other episodes, you might remember. Probably not. It happened for like a second there. Let's see. You general store, you be selling anything useful? Not in the slightest. Quite a lot of empty pots though. Quite a lot of buckets as well, and bowls and tinder boxes. But nothing useful. Don't these people sell wizard mind bombs? I think they do. Hey, yeah, uh, what can I get you? Only three coins? I'll have a mind bomb. Thanks. I'll have another one, actually. Right. I'm pretty sure that they boost. Oh, an Argazanian ale. I'm, I think that's what you need for the beginning of um, Recipe for Disaster. Now, I do. I hope that these wizard mind bombs boost me. Like, honestly, I don't know. I am no expert in these things. Right, I need my amulet of accuracy. Accuracy, amulet for the win. Anything else? Haiti pause, of course. Good old Haiti paws. No ring. No need to keep my dwarven axe on me. Got my wizard mind bombs. Got my foods. Okay. Let's go. No, I don't need anything else. I thought I might need to. Oh no, runes! 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 Runes. Right. Almost made a massive, massive fail there. Let's grab 500 casts. Grab a thousand of those. Let's go. Right. I brought chocolate cake and bread because they've got no other use. And giant bats only drop uh, bat bones. Uh, and gold charms and other charms. But giant bat. No, sorry. Um, just ordinary bat bones. I think they give a tiny bit more experience than normal bones, which is quite useful. Actually, let's see. Let's auto cast this. Okay. Uh, anything else? 